So in this video, we want to see again the concept of implicit differentiation. This is not the video on this particular topic on this channel. You would like to also see that other video. I'm going to attach the link to the video on the description of this one right now. But what I want to show us here now is, of course, you know that a function is only differentiated by implicit approach if the function itself is implicit. Okay, and then there are two basic ways to identify implicit function. One of the ways, which is very basic, is that you would have your x and y, that is the dependent and independent variable, on one side or on both sides of the equation, just like what we have here. You can see you have x and y all on both sides. So, in other words, it does not tell us descriptive, uh, explicitly which one is the dependent and which one is the independent. And that is why this question now says we should find dy dx if this is equal to 16. So now, you know, usually the implicit differentiation says that we should differentiate everything with respect to x. That is, in that case, you're actually making y the dependent variable. And so you are now differentiating with respect to x in order to get your dy dx. Now, however, you can actually also make x to be the, the dependent variable. In other words, differentiate with respect to uh, y. And in each case, you will get the same answer. Now, the, and the reason why that will be so is because none of them is actually the dependent and none is the independent because it is an implicit uh, function. So that's actually what I said to show us in this video. So let's quickly look at it. I'm going to first differentiate with respect to x. So if I do that, I'm going to have, if I differentiate x squared with respect to x, I will get 2x. And if I differentiate y with respect to x, I'm going to get 2y number. You will now multiply it with dy dx, okay? And then minus, if I differentiate 6x, I will get 6. And if I differentiate 8y, I will get minus 8 and then dy dx here, okay? And everything is equal to 0 because the derivative of uh, 16 will definitely give us 0. And so what can we do here? You would immediately see that the next thing now, of course, under implicit differentiation will now be to make dy dx a subject. And so I'm going to leave my 2y dy dx here and then bring it dy dx um, and then that will be equal to so i'll bring to the other side every other thing and that will give me six minus two x okay now here i'm now going to factorize so if i bring out two uh, y minus eight into a bracket so I'm factorizing out dy dx because it is contained here and also here. And this will be equal to my 6 minus 2x. All right. So at this point, what do I do next? So I will now divide both sides by this bracket. And that's going to give my dy dx to be equal to 6 minus 2x. Okay. So and then if you try to factorize, of course, you can bring out 2 here and you have 3 minus x all over. We can also bring out 2 here and we have y minus 4. So if these two takes away these two, which is why we had to do that factorization, therefore our dy dx is 3 minus x all over y minus 4. All right, so what do we then, uh, what do I now want us to see here? So you can also see that if I choose to now make my, remember that here I have the y dx is this. If I now choose to make x the dependent variable that is differentiating with respect to y. So let's see if we're going to get the same answer doing that. Now recall our function minus 8y equal to 16. Okay, so now let's try to do this. So we are differentiating now with respect to x, uh, y. Now, because we are differentiating with respect to y, our x is now the dependent variable. So what that does for us is that when we now differentiate x, the same way 
when we differentiated y with respect to x here we now added the dy dx that's also here now when we now differentiate x with respect to y we are now going to add dx dy okay and then when we differentiate our y squared because we are differentiating with respect to y you will just have y a uh, 2y and so that's going to give us the other one will now be 6x dx dy and the other one will now give us 8 which is now equal to 0 so i just said to show us this so we can see that the both of them will actually give you the same solution so now the same way i'm going to bring the ones having dx dy together and that's going to give me this okay all over dy and so take the rest to the other side so i'll have 8 minus my 2y now remember that i can now factorize my dx so i will have 2 minus 6 and this is going to give me dy sorry so this will give me dx dy and that is equal to 8 minus 2y so immediately i can see that my dx dy will be equal to 8 minus 2y all over 2x minus 6 and like i did in the previous um, method you can also now uh, factorize your your 2 and if we do that our dx dy will be equal to of course 2 will come out to give you 4 minus y and below 2 will come out to give you x minus 3 but of course you know that the 2 that will bring out will cancel uh, of course let me just write it so the two of them we cancel out so now but however the question asks us to look for dy dx and not dx dy and you can see that dy dx is simply the reciprocal of this one okay so that means if i turn this upside down i am going to get my dy dx and so let's do that so if i turn the left hand side upside down that means i will also turn the right hand side upside down so i will also have my x minus 3 all over 4 minus y which is the same thing that we got using the first approach so i said to show us this of course they they will definitely give you the same and in the next video i'm going to show us how we can use a very simple formula to you know uh, differentiate uh, using implicit approach instead of going through all of this process we can just use a simple formula which says uh, that the dy dx in this case is going to be equal to negative fx all over fy so follow me to the next video where i will show you what all of this represent and we'll do this same example and you will see that we will get the same answer in a very faster approach using this method all right kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and do give a thumbs up to this video we will see you in our next video bye